What's up everybody, Monty here. Uh, today's video, I just wanted to go over the Smart Home Manager app. Um, I don't think a lot of people know about it actually. I did reference it, I believe, in my previous videos with this uh, AT&T Fiber. But anyways, um, the uh, Smart Home Manager app uh, lets you manage pretty much the whole entire AT&T network that you have at your house. Um, all the devices connected to it. You can set profiles, turn devices on or off, limit devices. Um, you can do all of that stuff with it uh, as well, but uh, I just want to go over a couple things with it uh, with you guys today. As you can see there in the background, you'll see that at the end of the video as well. It just shows uh, you can get gig internet from AT&T for $49.99 a month. So it's definitely a steal, definitely something to, uh, to look at. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and open the Smart Home app. Like I said, you can get this on the iOS app store and the uh, Android app store as well. Now you can see here... Um, my it shows my internet online. Got seven devices connected. Uh, you see my network name here at the bottom. Uh, as you can see, also at the top, I'm able to run a speed test. And there's some information about the speed test as well. And you can see I'm running the speed test now. As you see, I'm getting my 1,000 megabits down. And I'm getting 960 megs up, so pretty good. You'll see my history right here as well. Um, as you can see, 1,000 for the most part all the way down, 960, 980 plus all the way up as well. So there's going to be a little fluctuation. I think they advertise usually in the fine print about 940 megabits per second. But either way, uh, pretty good, no problems with it. Um, and then uh, let's see here what's next. We got our device uh, tab, and I just have this blurred out for my uh, Mac, I, Mac address. Um, but you can see the smart, I have the uh, smart extender, um, and that'll be later in this video as well. But uh, you can see here I can create profiles for all the devices. Um, so if kids don't want to go to sleep, turn the iPads off. Um, I don't have any notifications with that. Uh, here's another thing you guys can check out as well. It's called Network Health Check. I haven't really found much of a use for it, honestly. Um, it just shows little little webs it's spread out. It just shows you all your devices, as you can see here. So um, somewhat useful, maybe. Uh, it shows here my devices online. All right, this shows all my data usage throughout the past 24 hours and the past seven days. I can uh, toggle in between those. And Ethernet port, that's pretty obvious. Whatever's plugged in that Ethernet port um, is, is what's used in the most. Uh, we do have an Apple TV plugged in, um, so that um, device is probably connected to the Smart Home Extender, which is on that run of the port 4 is probably likely what that is. See here, Wi-Fi test. You can check your Wi-Fi signal strength. It's pretty helpful, but as you can see, I ran it. I'm two feet from the wireless gateway, so it's not really going to do a whole lot for me. Channel scan, uh, if there's got any, any, any interference with uh, different wireless routers in your uh, area, it'll find the best channel uh, to operate on. And this is the uh, the AirTice 4920 uh, that I recommended um, in the other video. Uh, so this will just ask you, um, you know, if you, if you need it, um, you just answer some questions. As you can see there, I answered it, and it's saying it's recommended it to me. Though when the AT&T technician was here, he didn't offer it. Uh, first, he said, actually, I go back. He did say that I can get it, but he tested on his phone the same thing I'm already doing, and he said I didn't need it. Lo and behold, afterwards, I sold my uh, Alien or my uh, Amplify. Um, Ubiquity makes it Amplify uh, uh, Gaming Edition. Uh, it's where I had the two pods in addition to the um, router. Anyways. Um, it's a whole nother story on that end, but uh, I've got the wireless extender extend my wireless uh, network out. Um, but yeah, the air ties that that box that they and that I'm showing you guys right now it definitely helps out as far as Wi-Fi goes. Um, and like I said, cap out about 500 megs up and down, so pretty good enough. You know, good enough. Don't need the the full gig over Wi-Fi to, to browse Facebook, watch some YouTube, um, and email. It's just kind of silly, but. Uh, you know why not have it if you have it uh, so as you can see here um, you know like I said in previous comments before um, 
you're able to get the uh, the gigabit up and down fiber, forty nine ninety nine a month. Uh, you get twelve months. Uh, so, but before as well, you can see here you get the wireless gateway, uh, no cost at all. So that's pretty cool. I didn't actually get it. I just got this service, I think back November last year. So. I didn't get that much of a deal as what they're offering now. Um, I pay about 60 a month. That's because we have AT&T cell phone service, so they take off $10 a month uh, for that. But for $49.99 a month for 12 months, it's uh, well worth it, I think. Uh, with Charter, I was paying uh, about 65 70 and that was only about 200 megs down and I think maybe 10 megabits up, so really slow. Um, but either way, you know, I just want to show you guys the app. The app is definitely useful. Um, you're able to edit all your wireless information, username, uh, sorry, wireless networks, passwords, um, firewall settings, really a lot of that stuff. Really the only thing I don't like about it is I can't edit my DNS on the box. Now you can edit your DNS on individual devices, but uh, it would have been nice to have that. Uh, at and is getting all the information anyway, so... So not a big deal that I can't change my DNS. Kind of sucks, but like I said, at the end of the day, and just go on the devices that I edit, go on the network and after settings, and just change it to. I think I have mine set to Cloudflare. Um, between that and Google, I usually bounce between them. But uh, I did run a DNS benchmark before previously on the PC, as you'll see in a previous video that I just made about gaming on fiber, and you can see Cloudflare is about the fastest that in Google. So either way, um, hope you guys like this video. Like, subscribe down below. Uh, kind of a crazy time we're uh, we're living in right now with everything going on but uh, uh, you know everybody's stuck at home right everybody everybody's on the internet so uh, why not share uh, sh share some more information about this fiber stuff um, definitely check out the application uh, the app on the um, iOS and Android app store um, it's because it's really really helpful um, to, to setting everything up you're able to run the speed test uh, remotely you don't even have to be at home best part I like about the speed test running of that remotely um, is none of your hardware is connected you can disconnect everything you're just running straight um, from the wireless gateway um, to at and servers so you're just straight up running the speed test so uh, kind of isolates all your equipment that's the best thing I see a lot of people that commented that say hey they got fiber it was really slow um, I would isolate all the equipment first I would just have the router the wireless gateway plugged in um, with that plugged in, I would just run the speed test from the app um, that way to make sure you get the speeds. Now, keep in mind, I'm not saying that at and is not fudging the numbers here because it is their app and it is their service that you're running the speed test with. So wouldn't surprise me, but I, I'd say with, with them offering it, it's probably accurate. Uh, I'll put it to you that way. Um, and like I said, you can always get your device plug it in. I always recommend hardline Wi-Fi. It's it can be spotty. There can be interference. You have a microwave on. You have a neighbor that has um, their five gigahertz network channels and all that other stuff. So uh, I would definitely recommend Ethernet cable plugged directly into the back of that. Um, that's where you're going to get the most performance at, and that's where you're not going to have uh, any interference. And the latency is going to be pretty much almost zero so that's what I recommend download the app the smart AT&T smart home manager app um, I downloaded that day one but you want to download that uh, make sure you have that installed you can configure everything with it and then you can also do the 192.168. I think it's 1.254 or 0254 I think it's one actually um, you can go on there uh, it'll ask for your access code that's a sticker on your uh, wireless gateway you can log into that and you can configure some more settings but um, with the app, it's pretty easy. Best part is you can measure, uh, you, you can do your speed test on there as well. Um, and that's really what makes it, in my opinion. A lot of people say they're not getting their advertised speed. Well, you got the app. The app is telling you you're getting your advertised speed, so it's very likely that you have a problem hardware wise. I would always hard line into it. And that's going to solve all your problems. If you're trying to get wireless over it, that's going to be a problem, and that's why you're not going to get your full speed. Um, these are just Wi-Fi 5. They're not Wi-Fi 6. Um, and even at that point, even with Wi-Fi 6, if there's interference, you're not going to get the gig anyway, so it doesn't really matter at that point. But uh, download the app, Smart Home AT&T app. Download that. Uh, you can uh, measure everything. If you don't have AT&T Fiber, hell, definitely get it for the price. I mean, for 50 bucks, it's a steal, and you get it looks like $150 in rewards cards. Like that's just crazy. I, I didn't get any of that. I just got a a, a, a $20 Roku and uh, six months of Spotify, and I still got to pay 60 a month. Plus, I got to pay the modem fee. So it's just definitely definitely worth it in my opinion. And AT&T is not paying me or anything. <laughs> I wish. Uh, but uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe down below. Uh, comment if you have any questions down below as well um, let me know and uh, ask me any questions i'm pretty quick to respond so uh, other than that stay safe out there guys thanks for watching